You're here because you're serious about starting a cloud career, but you're not sure which path to take. Should you become a cloud engineer, a DevOps engineer, or a solutions architect? You've seen the job postings and the salaries look amazing, but what do these roles actually involve? And most importantly, which one is right for you? Picking the wrong path could cost you months of effort, frustration, and missed job opportunities. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll understand the key differences between these cloud roles, the salaries each of these roles pay, and the skills you need, and most importantly, the best path for you. Welcome to Cloud Career Mentor, where we help aspiring tech professionals land dream jobs in the cloud industry. I'm your host, Kelly, and today I'm answering a big question for cloud beginners. Which career is right for you? Cloud engineer? DevOps engineer or solutions architect? Let's dive in. I want to begin with the cloud engineer role and explaining what they actually do. Cloud engineers are the backbone of cloud infrastructure. Their main responsibilities involve setting up and managing resources on the cloud. They ensure that systems are secure, scalable and high performing. They don't just deploy services, they optimize them, troubleshoot issues, and use automation tools like Terraform and CloudFormation to streamline operations. Every app, website, and system running in the cloud relies on their expertise. And the pay? It's transformative. But before I talk about pay, I need to give a big disclaimer. How much you get paid for a role depends on a number of factors, like what city you live, the size of the company you're working for, and how much experience you have. For example, if you live in a high cost of living city like New York or London, your pay is more likely to be higher than if you live in a lower cost of living city. Also, if you work for a giant company like Google or Amazon, your pay is more likely to be higher than if you work for a smaller company. I just want to keep these factors in mind when we discuss salaries. As a cloud beginner, your top priority should be landing that first job, not stressing too much about the starting salary. Trust me, the more experience you gain in this industry, the bigger your earning potential becomes. Focus on growth now and the money will follow. Okay, let's continue our conversation. In the United States, entry-level cloud engineers start at around 115,000 per year, with mid-level professionals earning just above 136,000 and senior-level experts making over 176,000 annually. But location matters a lot. California leads the pack with an average cloud engineer salary of 163,000, while Nebraska comes in at the lower end with 120. Across the pond here in the United Kingdom, entry level positions begin at about 45,000 pounds per year. Mid level professionals average over 57,000 pounds, and seasoned cloud engineers can earn up to 77,000 pounds 396 annually. Now, let's talk about DevOps engineer positions. If a cloud engineer builds the system, then a DevOps engineer makes sure it runs like a well-oiled machine. Think of it like an F1 pit crew, constantly optimizing, automating, and making things better and faster. So what does that actually mean? Well, as a DevOps engineer, you'll be setting up CI CD pipelines so deployments happen in minutes instead of days. You'll monitor and log system performance to catch issues before they become problems. And you'll use infrastructure as code to automate everything possible, making cloud environments scalable and efficient. Now, let's talk about the pay. DevOps engineers are well compensated, even at the entry level. In the US, entry-level DevOps engineers earn an average salary of around 81,000, typically ranging from 70 to 93,000. But like I mentioned earlier, where you live plays a huge role in how much you can make. Salaries vary widely between states due to factors like cost of living, local economies and industry presence. 
For example, as of February 1st, 2025, a DevOps engineer in California earns an average yearly salary of 89,000, while in Massachusetts, it's 88,000, and in New Jersey, it's about 88,000 per year. Mid-level professionals earn an average of 128,000 per year, while average annual salary for a senior DevOps engineer in the United States is 164,000. According to Salary.com, salaries can range from $138,529 to $194,356, with most professionals earning between $150,000 and $179,000. In the United Kingdom, the estimated total pay for a mid-level DevOps engineer is £52,715 per year, and this amount goes up with experience. We've talked about the difference between cloud engineers and DevOps engineers, and you might be wondering which option you should go for. But here's the big secret. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Why? Well, because most organizations use the terms cloud engineer and DevOps engineer interchangeably. They are basically two titles that do the same job. So don't stress too much about which title you see on a job posting. If you have the right skills, apply anyway. The fastest way to land your first cloud job is to stop waiting for the perfect title and start building real cloud experience. If you focus on that, the opportunities and the high paying jobs will follow. By the way, if you want to know what skills you need to build to land that job as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer, then make sure you stick around till the end because I'll share some resources with you that will make you successful. If this is starting to give you clarity on your cloud career path, let me know by hitting that like button. It really helps me keep creating content that guides you on this journey. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so that you never miss out on fresh insights, career tips, and strategies to land your first cloud job. All right, let's keep going. Now, let's talk about solution architect roles. Solution architects are the strategists of the cloud world. If cloud engineers and DevOps engineers build the system, then solution architects design the blueprint. Before any new solution gets built, someone has to understand the pain points that the business is facing. They then have to research potential solutions and finally draw an architectural diagram that provides the blueprint to the solution that will get built. This is exactly what a solution architect does. Instead of just deploying services, they focus on the bigger picture. Understanding business needs, choosing the best cloud tools for performance, security and cost, and making sure that everything works together seamlessly. Sounds exciting, right? Well, here's the catch. This isn't an entry-level role. Most solution architects start as cloud engineers or DevOps engineers, spending two to three years getting hands-on experience before stepping into this position. This explains why the pay of a solution architect is typically higher than that of a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer. As of February 2025, the average annual salary for a solution architect in the United States is 126,000, with a typical range between 114,000 and 139,000. However, salaries can vary widely based on factors such as education, certifications, additional skills, and years of experience in the field. In the United Kingdom, the average salary for this role is around £72,000 per year, with entry-level positions starting at approximately £60,000 and highly experienced professionals earning up to £90,000, with some high performers earning well over six figures. Some of the factors that influence these salary variations include years of experience, education level, certifications, and the specific industry or company size. The cloud industry is growing fast, and there's a huge demand for people who know how to build and automate in the cloud. You may be wondering what the best thing you can do right now to break into the cloud industry is. The answer is simple. Focus on learning the right skills and building high quality projects using cloud infrastructure and automation. 
This is exactly why we created cloudcareermentor.com, a structured, beginner-friendly program designed to take you from cloud beginner to cloud higher. You won't just learn theory, you'll gain real-world experience with the tools and technologies cloud employers actually look for. I'm talking about technologies like AWS, Linux, Git, Terraform, CI-CD pipelines, and more. You'll build the skills that matter while working on real-world projects that prove your abilities to recruiters. More importantly, you won't have to do it alone. With a structured learning path, access to personalized mentoring, and a supportive community, you'll have everything you need to stay on track and turn your knowledge into a job offer. If you're serious about launching your cloud career, don't leave it to chance. Visit cloudcareermentor.com and take the first step towards your first cloud job today. Now, let's get back into the video. Now that we've covered the main cloud roles and salaries, let's talk about the long-term prospects of a cloud career. Where will this path take you in three to five years? Will this career keep on growing? Or will you hit a ceiling? And most importantly, what kind of opportunities are actually waiting for you down the road? If you start as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer, you're setting yourself up for serious career growth. With hands-on experience, you can level up to a cloud architect role, where you'll design high-level cloud solutions. Or, if automation and efficiency are more your thing, you can transition into DevOps engineering, expanding your skill set and increasing your job market flexibility. From DevOps engineering, your career can evolve even further. You could move into site reliability engineering, ensuring cloud systems stay reliable and resilient. Or step into platform engineering, where you'll build and optimize cloud platforms for entire organizations. Each of these paths lead to greater responsibility and bigger paychecks. Now, what if you land a solutions architect role? Since this is already a more senior position, your next step could be enterprise architect, where you're not just designing cloud solutions, but shaping the entire IT strategy of an organization. Or you could become a cloud consultant, advising businesses on cloud transformations and working on high level projects across different industries. Now, I know what you're thinking. Which path leads to the biggest paycheck in the long run? That would be Solutions Architect. As you move up, roles like Enterprise Architect and Cloud Consultant bring some of the highest salaries in the cloud industry. But here's the catch. You can't skip the steps. These high paying roles require experience and most people start as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer, sharpen their skills and then transition into these top tier positions over time. The good news, if you put in the work, the earning potential in the cloud industry is massive. Now that you know what these roles do, let's talk about what actually matters. Figuring out which one is the best fit for you. Here's the thing, the best cloud career for you isn't just about salary or job demand. It's also about what kind of work excites you. What problems do you enjoy solving? How do you like to work? If you love hands-on technical work, enjoy troubleshooting, and like diving deep into how things actually run in the cloud, Cloud Engineer is a great choice. You'll be building and managing the cloud infrastructure, getting real experience with AWS, and solving real-world challenges. If you love automation, problem solving, and making things more efficient, you might want to be drawn to DevOps Engineer. It's all about making deployments faster, improving system reliability, and using infrastructure as code to automate as much as possible. It's a great role if you like optimizing processes and working on continuous improvement. Now, if you love big picture planning, designing solutions, and explaining complex ideas to different teams, then Solution Architect could be your goal. But like I mentioned earlier, Solution Architect isn't an entry-level role. Most people start as a cloud engineer or DevOps engineer, gain experience, and then move into architecture. 
So if you're just starting out and not sure where to begin, Cloud Engineer is the easiest entry point. It gives you the foundational skills you need for both DevOps and Solutions Architect roles. And once you have real hands-on experience, you can pivot into any direction you want. At the end of the day, there's no wrong choice. What matters is getting started. The cloud industry is growing and there's space for you to build an amazing career. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll be on your way. But here's the thing. Knowing about these cloud roles is just the first step. Actually landing your first cloud job? That takes the right skills, hands-on experience, and a clear plan to stand out from the competition. And I don't want you to waste time guessing what to learn or struggling to figure it out all alone. And to help you do that faster, I've put together something for you called the three simple steps to your first cloud job. In this guide, I break down a proven formula that will help you secure your first cloud job faster and with less frustration. If you're serious about breaking into the cloud industry, you don't want to miss this. Grab your free copy now. Just click the link in the description below. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more tips to help you succeed in the cloud industry. Now that you understand the difference between cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, and solution architect, it's time to take action. First, choose the role that excites you the most. Don't get caught up in job titles. Cloud engineer and DevOps engineer are nearly identical in most companies. So focus on the skills that actually matter. And if solutions architect is your end goal, remember that it's a senior role. The best way to get there? Start as a cloud or DevOps engineer and build real experience. Next, don't just study. Get hands-on experience. The more you practice, the more confident you'll be when it's time to apply. And speaking of applying, start now. It's easy to feel like you're not ready, but no one starts out feeling 100% prepared. The people landing cloud jobs aren't necessarily the ones with the most experience. They're the ones who put themselves out there and take action. So, which cloud role feels like the right fit for you? Let me know in the comments. And remember, your first cloud job is closer than you think. You just need to take that first step. Now that you know about these cloud careers, let's test your cloud knowledge. Check out the Great Tech Quiz episode one, where we put your cloud knowledge to the test with real world questions. Think you can get a perfect score? Click the video, take the quiz, and let me know how you do in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.